Hi guys, John Rothery. We're going to talk today about cryotherapy or the use of ice for injuries. Uh, quite a lot of controversy surrounding uh, the use of ice. But generally with an injury, there are three phases of uh, healing. The first phase is the inflammatory response, which is why we use heat. The second stage is a repair stage. And the third stage is a remodeling stage. So with inflammation, when we put an ice pack, as we've got here, for example, or some ice cubes, uh, in a bag or whatever you choose to use some spray the whole idea is that when you put ice on it causes a vasoconstriction of the blood vessels that means they get smaller and what that does is it obviously decreases the amount of blood to the area what it does is it also decreases the swelling because decreases the conduction rate of the nerves in the area so it helps with the pain modulation also the neuronal excitability in the tissues in the area and decreases the tissue metabolism um, you can also take NSAIDs or anti-inflammatories during this phase, but again, there's massive controversy regarding this uh, as well. But what you wouldn't use ice on is a patient who's had a DVT, maybe a chronic or open wound, or somebody who suffers from what's called Raynaud's phenomena, where they're cold hypersensitive, so their skin color changes, or any hemorrhaging. But what you're trying to achieve is a decrease in edema, decrease in blood flow, and you only would use ice in, in uh, 0 to 48 hours after the actual injury of an acute injury. So you might want to use the pack, as we've got an example here, or an ice pack for 10 minutes every hour on the hour. So leave it on for 10 minutes and then take it off. Thank you. Hi guys, John Rothery, osteopath. So we talked about the use of uh, ice in the three phases of healing. So you would, you would use ice on the inflammatory response phase, which is stage one. On the stage two repair stage and the remodeling, you would use the application of heat. You can use heat by uh, shockwave therapy, generates heat or infrared radiation or ultrasound as Des is demonstrating here. But the whole idea of a hot pack or hot water bottle increases the skin temperature it causes vasodilation, so it's in uh, opposition to cold therapy, which causes vasoconstriction, so the blood vessels dilate. We get an increase of blood flow when we're using this at the repair stage, an increased metabolic rate, an increase of oxygen uptake in the area of the tissue, tissue healing and remodeling, and the increase, increased activity of destructive enzymes. In other words, an increased catabolic rate. So the whole idea of heat is to move into the repair stage and the remodeling stage in combination maybe your physiotherapist may use for an injury for example the medial collateral ligament may use heat may use ultrasound may use shock wave or radiation infrared radiation to increase the heat in the area so these all ideas are to increase that um, as what we call it garbage out and groceries in analogy